My two best friends have just got engaged. Over champagne, he tells me, how he dropped to one knee. He tells me how he did everything traditionally and how the words, will you marry me, came out of his mouth so perfectly. And I am so proud of him. And now, my best friends who fart on cue, my best friends who prefer toilet humour to the news, my best friends are finally growing up. I just wish the same could be said for everyone. Do you remember us? We met you outside the local pub quite late last Friday night. You were the one who'd lost their mates and stumbled into sight, slightly worse for wear, but we didn't care. You were friendly enough, and when you pulled up a chair, we were more than happy to have you there. Do you remember that you asked us our names, and our ages, and birthdays, and mine and yours were almost the same? Do you remember how you told us about you, and how you make a ton of money but you hate what you do? Is it all coming flooding back to you? Do you remember when you noticed the ring? I saw the double take. I saw the flash of confusion in your face and the cogs turning as you jumped to conclusions and I silently pleaded for you to not say anything. Do you remember what you said? Do you remember shaking your head and looking down your nose and saying, why on earth do you have one of those? Silence. Conversation stopped. All of us trying to figure out how long it would take for the proverbial penny to drop. You sniggered and the laughter lingered. You do realise you've got a ring on your wedding finger. The penny took so long to reach the ground, it started collecting interest. And by the time it hit the carpet, the penny was a pound. And the penny was growing heavy with the weight of what you said. And the queen on the front of it was shaking her weary head, but you were still laughing, although nothing was funny. Ignoring the queen and the coin between your feet, you're too rich to notice money. We averted our eyes. Unfortunately, it's not the first time it happened, so it wasn't a surprise. I changed the subject. We avoided the issue, but somehow the awkwardness seemed to entirely miss you. There was an elephant filling the room, but you were unaware of this. You didn't even notice. Not the remotest hint of acknowledgement of this. However often it happens, and like I said, this wasn't the first time. In, I am, it always fails to shock me that in this day and age, in this day and age, people like you never see the errors of your ways. No, it isn't a mistake. No, it's not new age. No, it's not the wrong finger, and no, she didn't propose. No, it's none of those. Think about it. I won't spell it out for you. Eventually, it will come to you, and when it does, I hope it humbles you. I hope it trips you up and stumbles you. I hope it refreshes your memory and tumbles you head first into the 21st century. My best friends have just got engaged and I am so proud of them. He will make the most amazing husband and so will he.